Hey, Moondog here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing and evaluating the Axe SD memory card. Now, I'll be honest, I've never heard of this brand before. The only Axe I know is a body spray. But these were on sale on Amazon over Black Friday. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many memory cards, especially with the holidays fast approaching. I'm going to be taking lots of photos and video, so I could always use a bit more memory. Now, um, there's a lot of questionable or unknown brands I've never heard of that are, you know, on Amazon for as far as memory cards go. Uh, so I googled this one, and it turns out that they're made in Japan. So that changed my mind right there because Japan's really well known for making great electronics, really high quality electronics, so I thought I'd give this a shot. Now, for comparison, uh, I also bought these Samsung, um, and Samsungs are made, uh, their memory is made in uh, South Korea, and, uh, and uh, I also use SanDisks, and this one is made in Malaysia, though the case, the adapter case is made in China. The actual memory, um, Memory cards are made in Malaysia, and I think they also make them in Taiwan. But you know, you can correct me. Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'm sure there's um, there's memory fabs and uh, lots of them in Taipei and and in the Philippines. Uh, but there's also a lot of counterfeit cards out there, and most of them come from China. I, I know, but. Uh, Japan has a good reputation, so I thought I'd give them a shot. I'd give them a chance. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test them out. I'm going to compare them against these uh, Samsungs that I also bought uh, over the sales, and we'll see how well they, they do. So let's get started. All right, before we get started with the actual physical testing of this product, I just want to take a hot minute and just take a look at the packaging. And I know some of you are rolling your eyes right now thinking, oh, who cares about that? Okay, maybe I'm a bit of a design geek since that is my training here, but something about this just kind of screams cheap knockoff like the electronics you see at Dollar Tree or, uh, you know, a discount store. I don't know. Just look at it in comparison to the Samsung card, which I also bought at the same time. This just looks so much nicer, uh, more professional, um, just more advanced looking than, than this. And something about that, maybe it's just also the printing quality of this. So that's a little disappointing. But it does tick off, tick off all of the, uh, the, the specs that uh, I was interested in. This is a Class 10 uh, U3 V30 card. It's an A2 type. So this is fast enough, or at least it states that it's fast enough uh, for, for recording in 4K. And if, uh, you know, you have an Android device, this, uh, this is a high quality, high speed enough that, you know, you won't uh, um, experience any degradation in uh, performance. So it, it, it's comparable, uh, in, it's, at least in these raw specs, to the Samsung card. Um, perhaps not so much in terms of it's, it, it only claims to have a read speed of 100 megabytes per second, and the read speed on this is 60% is more. So there's something. We'll, we'll see how that actually performs. But... One thing I did want to note here is because the, the the packaging photos you see online are not always the same as the ones you actually get, so I thought it'd be useful for you to see what uh, I got um, when I ordered this. But one other thing that I'd like to point out here is that, look here, it says, remember I, I, I said that it was made in Japan? No, it isn't. It's made in Taiwan. Now, that's not a dig on Taiwan. Taiwan makes some of the best memory. In fact, most of the memory in, in the world comes from Taiwan. So they make some excellent electronics. Um, and of course, uh, you know, the uh, a, a lot of the memory that goes into, the solid state memory that goes into uh, um, uh, gra GPUs and everything else comes from, from Taiwan. So they make some great stuff too. So it's just that, um, like I said, don't trust everything you read online in terms of on, on uh, message boards and, and forums. Some of the information is just not right. Um, so, and I I looked on Amazon's page, and it, they do say that it is made in Taiwan. Now, apparently, Axe is a Japanese company, so that was somewhat accurate. But uh, so wherever I read that um, their memory comes from uh, is made in in uh, Japan. That's not, that's not true. So, or at least not accurate. In any case, uh, just thought you should know that and uh, correct my earlier statement. So, all right, this seems to be the episode for national misidentification. Uh, just like the Axe brand, which I thought was made in Japan, turns out it was made in Taiwan. This Samsung, well, everybody knows Samsung is a South Korean company, but this actual memory, it was made, and if you can see that, this memory is made in the Philippines. That's not a dig on the Philippines, by the way. I'm from there. So uh, just 
shows goes to show you that even though a brand is really well known for uh, for a particular country, it doesn't mean that all of their products are made there. So anyway, Samsung, South Korean, this actual memory card, Philippines. I cut free the micro SD cards from their packaging along with their adapters. I tested both of them using the built-in card reader in my MacBook Pro M1. I ran both cards through Blackmagic Design's disk speed test software, first the Axe card, and then the Samsung Pro Plus. And for good measure, I tested each naked micro SD card in my UHS-2 card reader. And then I ran the Blackmagic software again on both cards just to make sure that I was getting an accurate reading. All right, so the numbers I got were surprisingly close. The Samsung is on the left, uh, the SanDisk Extreme card is in the center, and I included that in the testing because that's the memory card I've been using prior to buying these other two. And the Axe is on the right, and the difference in write speed is very minimal. I mean, the uh, Samsung is effectively 81 megabytes per second, and the Axe is effectively 77 megabytes per second. That's four megabytes difference, uh, really. Who knows, that's within margin of error probably of, of this testing software. And then the read speeds are effectively the same. All right, so we had a chance to test out the Axe SD card, and as you saw in the results, there really was no appreciable difference between the Axe and the Samsung uh, Pro. So, um, yeah, there was a little bit of uh, difference in the write speeds. The Axe was 3-4 megabytes per second slower, but in read speeds, they were right neck and neck. So, from uh, a, a practical standpoint, really neg negligible difference between the two. Uh, I doubt you'll you'll experience any difference in a, in a typical 4K camera. Um, in fact, you're watching this right now being recorded on the Axe SD card on my Lumix G9, and I doubt you've noticed any difference between this and the footage I took at the beginning of this video, which was recorded on a SanDisk Extreme card. If you do, please let me know in the comments, but yeah, from a practical standpoint, I doubt you'll notice any difference. The Axe will work in you know any 4K camera, or practically any 4K camera. Take that with a grain of salt though, and as well as the, the numbers you saw here, because I recorded those numbers I, on my MacBook Pro, which is gonna be different than your your laptop or your computer or your tablet or whatever you're gonna put your SD card on. And certainly my camera is gonna be different than your camera, more than likely. Um, you know, I've heard of some cameras not liking certain brands of SD card. Um, so I don't know if you have a Canon or a Sony or whatever you're, you're, you're watching this on or recording on. Uh, if you've had any problems with Axe um, SD cards, please let me know in the comments. I, I'd like to know and I'm sure everybody else would. Uh, but if you're interested in picking this up, uh, you'll find product links as well as more information in my full written article on my blog, MoondogIndustries.com. Use that link if you can, because it helps support this channel in a little bit of, uh, of a commission. Just really tiny, but another free way you can help support this channel is by simply hitting the like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons. It's absolutely free, you know, it's always free to subscribe on YouTube or Rumble or whatever you're watching this on. Uh, but the way it works is that if you hit any of those buttons, you are taking control of the algorithm. You're letting it know that this video is good content that you like to watch and it'll suggest this video to other folks like you. So thank you for, you know, helping me out there. Anyway, thanks again for watching. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.